consecutive completions. Now Brandon Peters will try to answer, but he's dragged down to the ground. Nick Herbig. Get embarrassed and come out swinging. They flip it to A.J. Henning. The Badgers fly up there. That's Nick Herbig, the freshman linebacker. Goes in motion now. Milton's running all the way. And it'll be chased down from the backside by Herbig. An impressive freshman. History and the legacy that these guys have left behind of outside linebackers at Wisconsin. This guy's got a bright future. When you look at his athletic ability, 235 pounds. They run away. Second and six. Milton. All oh, batted in the air. And it's caught. They avoid the interception as all is able to come down with it off the deflection. Loudermilk was right there to get a hand on. 97 right there, knocking it right away. You see 57 Sanborn thinking about getting a chance to get his hands on it. He's going to walk into the end zone. Well, that, that's hot. He's 6'7. Loudermilk 6'7, and he timed it up perfectly. On their way to 4 0, fifth in the country. And they have two already here in the quarter, and Cam Porter. Nowhere to run. Third and one, tight formation, obvious quarterback sneak. As the ball comes out, Wisconsin says they have it. As you see, coming away with the ball, there's Eric Burrell. And it is Wisconsin ball. Interception, trying to do something with it. Instead, Tuttle turns it over. Badgers ball when we come back. Some things said to us yesterday that all start to make sense when you see how he has gone about it today. We had a good talk with Nick Sheridan, who's the first year offensive coordinator for the Hoosiers. Fullback is Puttybaum, Monty Puttybaum, number 38, and Sergeant will follow him. Great penetration by Herbig again. Yeah, they strung this out again. They're trying to get to the edge in that corner again. 11 individual. Back. And you see that's Regini, Nico Regini in motion. Peters setting up the screen to Goodson. Tyler Goodson's got it inside the 15 and down to the 13. I love the anatomy of that win, getting the character built in the fourth stanza. Goodson nice wrapped job. up behind the line of scrimmage. That's Herbig again. So after seven incomplete, now seven straight completions. Neil Smith will run it and get nothing. Trips at the bottom of your screen. Theo Johnson in motion. They hand it off. And they won't get it. Clifford. And he's sacked. Nick Herbig. And here's why. Watch this rip move on the tackle right there. Bang. He just pulls his hands down, runs around him, and gets to the quarterback. That is a big-time rush when they need it. They only rushed three, Gus. Still got home because of the talent. From the 36. Pressure coming, loses his helmet, and the whistle is blown. Against Leo Chanel, who's 260. Cone looks that way. But doesn't have time. He's sacked for the fifth time in the first half. Great outside linebacker. Here he's going to come on the outside, and then he gets back to the inside as Cone steps up. Gets off of the rush, and he's able to get the sack. Herbig is a heck of an athlete, 227 pounds, and a young player at that. Deion Sanders from Jackson State. Cone sacked again. Number five. Wow. Sandborn. That you only are going to get four rushers. Right, so you're going to get four rushers with the blitz, but they only bring four. Jim Leonard does a great job of disguising the pressure. Thus, they move late. And so they've got coverage behind it. Offset eye, they pitch it. Haskins, and he'll go nowhere. Wonderful job by Nick Herbig. Herbig is such a good edge player. Here's Herbig, and he's just going to be coming out on the outside. And this is what I'm talking about, an edge player doing his job, not allowing that play to get outside of him. And he's able to get Haskins on the back. And a nice tackle for loss. Third down, 10 of the 45. McNamara, 8 of 16, 89 yards of a touchdown. No picks. McNamara underneath finds one of his tight ends, but it won't be enough for the first schoolmaker. McNamara remains in the game. Straight ahead, and they will not get this first down. They're two of 16, eight boys and eight girls. As 
that play is strung out of bounds and bodies falling all over the ground to bring up third down. He gets down there deep. And he's going to keep it. Going nowhere. 15 yards, and now they move in a hurry. Another quick throw, and there is David Bell's first catch. But it does not go for much. In fact, they'll say no game. So it's not over until it's over with him. Well, they run the option again, this time to the other side. But Wisconsin ready for it. No gain. That's a tradition here at Purdue that's called the Breakfast Club. They get dressed up and go out and have a good time before the games. And oh, my goodness, Plummer just fumbled it. And Wisconsin jumps on it. Herbig is able to jump on this thing. It's really a missed mesh. It has nothing to do with the defense. Herbig just Johnny on the spot. And Here comes a blitz on first down. And the pass rush gets home for the Badgers. So hard to diagnose who is coming and from where. It's a loss of a couple. What does so much. Inside linebacker blitzes and man on the line of scrimmage. Burks drops right under where. Only a three-man rush. Petrus lost the football. It was stripped away. And who's got it? It looks like the Badgers do. Line of scrimmage. That allows Herbig to get one-on-one. -on -one. Watch the dip underneath the right tackle. A little burst jump and then drop the shoulder underneath the tackle. Speed rush and then look at the swipe at the football. What a play by the sophomore. You see how he swipes at the ball? He's not trying to go for a sack. After the play was over, where does the ball line swipe it away? Wisconsin bench. Absolutely no yardage with that out morning. by Herbig, who has First down, Wisconsin. had such a year and committed so much in this offseason. You're playing, trying to play with as much urgency as possible. Completions are your friends, Spencer Petrus. Petrus under pressure, tries to spin out of the sack, forces it to the sideline. They're going to rule him down. It's an eight-yard sack for Herbig. Yeah, he's trying to just throw the ball to the perimeter, and it's not there. Herbig beats that left tackle. I mean, he's in his back, grasp, in the grasp, in the grasp. Pressure. 